Welcome back to Showbiz 360 right here on TV3 every Friday from 8.30 p.m. with repeats on Tuesday, 3 p.m. Don't forget that. It's a live show, so we usually prepare for anything, all right? Big kudos going out to our Casa Preco Bar, the man Eddie. And oh, Joyce, you're looking great today, working from behind the scenes. Nice hair, by the way. Yeah, and of Eddie. Bibi Aboko. Yeah, I wake no one to sing. Oh, Boko. Na cannibal strawberry, ne? Bete. Bibi Ani Huye. Sa. Ah, and a storm no sweat. Bete. Sa. Kofoto, you know. Honey, no. Yeah, short cry. Sa, honey, no. A cost you, yo. But that's it. Charlie, my guy, you do all. Of course, big shout outs going out to uh, Bet's Way as usual, man. Uh, forever long life. Yeah, yeah, partners. We, we appreciate you. I've got great news for you today, though. Uh, I've got another partner on the show today. And throughout the course of the show, we break it down to you. All right, please. My first guest is super ready. Let's talk about sex, he calls it. James Ebo White. We all know him as Uncle Ebo White. That's right. A stance like you do I know Uncle Abu White is fit, but don't come and do cardio with him on your show. Why are you warning me before the interview? Eh? Uncle. Yes, sir. Good to see you. Good to see you, my brother. Oh. Looking good. Thank you. It's the Making great. a fashion statement as always. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is my sister's make, making, actually. Okay. Long clothing. All right. She comes right after me. So she was like, Giovanni, I want you to wear something different today. It looks, I've never it looks, shown my legs looks, on TV. It looks good on you. Thank you, No, you, you have good legs. Oh, thank you. Thank Some you of us so. wouldn't dare, even with a fee. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. This leg has seen a lot of things in yeah. life. But nothing compares to the subject of sex. No. Uh, <laughs> the feet have seen a lot of things. I've been to places. Uh -huh. They haven't seen much. Okay. I know the partner has seen things. Oh, sir. We'll stick to the script. Uh, <laughs> Uncle Abu, you are a well-known, celebrated author, you're playwright, you are... Uh, I, I, it's difficult to describe you, uh, especially when it comes to what you give society. Yeah. And I want you to do that for me. I'm a storyteller. Okay. That is who I am. Mm. And that's what you've been doing for the past decades. That's what I... In the year 2000, mm -hmm. um, I felt challenged to operate in the area of my gifting, not my certificates. Okay. And so I threw all my certificates away. Hey, incredible. So right now, if you ask me for any certificate, I don't have there's any. There's no proof. No, there's no proof I went to school. <laughs> what, because what, I, didn't what want, that I didn't want to fall back on anything. Okay. And I went home and told my wife that I feel called to operate in the area of my gifting. And um, if it doesn't work, we'll stop. Hey. And we'll have to stop. You must have a very understanding wife. I do. Yeah. I do. I've you, been blessed in that respect. And you've been married That's why I've been married for 38 years. Yes, when I heard that, I thought maybe it was a typo. Oh. Yeah, oh. when I heard that, I was like, even though it was words, <laughs> these were words spoken to me. I thought it was a, a, a dental typo. Or a vocal, <laughs> vocal, vocal, yes. vocal typo. I, I, I couldn't be. 30 what? 38. And you're a father of many, uncle to a few more. Yeah, to a generation. A whole generation? Yes. Your writing skills, your words yes. have inspired a lot of people. What is this works. Oh, uh, so virgin. this is, um, yeah, it's called the Virgin Sex Casa Preco okay. Cocktail Bar Stand okay. into um, Uncle Ebo. All right, thank you. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> this is the book. Took you Corona is there to any bring this alcohol up. inside? No, 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 no. No. Okay. Yeah, we don't. Because we don't. my father drank all the alcohol for all his children. <laughs> <laughs> so none of my father's children has any right to take any more yeah. alcohol. I didn't know. My father drank enough for all of us. <laughs> he covered you. Oh, he covered us. More than covered us. Uncle Bo. Yes, sir. So we were almost getting used to your virtual plays during COVID. Yes. And then you shocks us, you shock us with this one. James yes. Abu White's 
let's talk about sex which I released, becoming one. Which I released on my 67th birthday. Exactly my point. Yeah. It took you this long to talk about sex. Yes. Why? Fear. Giovanni, there are certain subjects you cannot talk about in Ghana. On the cross, say. I don't know him. Mm -hmm. You know, and I remember when the news went out that I was releasing a book, mm -hmm. a, a woman called my wife um, and said, Sandra, but this is a much book on sex. Now, I'm going sex. She was asking a couple that has been married for 38 years, say, Nim sex, and mm -hmm. No, so for fear of yeah. how would it be received, what would people say? Mm. Because is there, is there one subject that everybody thinks is a master of? Thank you. And yet every, um, a lot of people know next to nothing about. Wow. Listen, jo, uh, Giovanni, yeah. if, if children were born mm -hmm. out of good sex, mm -hmm. a lot of marriages would be childless. Let's take that again, slowly. On Fridays, I'm very slow. <laughs> if children mm -hmm. were born out of good sex, a lot of marriages will be childless. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm just looking at myself and imagining my parents. Like, I don't know, it's wrong. And they're watching right now, mom and dad, hello? <laughs> uh? Because mm -hmm. even though everybody thinks he knows so much about it, um, the majority have no clue what they are doing. Yeah. They have no clue what they are doing. But they go for counseling. They go to church. The counselors themselves don't, material. most counselors themselves don't know. So they don't even go deep into this. Mm. Mm. They will just get it, yeah. you know. So if it's a Christian counselor, it's going to be, don't deny each other sex. True. You know, True. but what to do. And I tell a very interesting story of my own case. Okay. Um, where I had to take a book on sex into my honeymoon. I saw it came with an image. Is that it? Yes, that is it. Is this it? Yes, this is uh, it. Camera? This is it. And this is friendly for... Okay, I don't know if it's friendly for TV. Oh, um, it should be. It is. It's it a is. drawing. It is. There's something yeah. there. And, um, and parents who think, who are, who are about to send their children home yeah. um, to bed, listen, you need to listen to programs like this so it can provoke a, a conversation between yeah. your children on sex. Okay. Otherwise, it's a difficult subject to broach yeah. with True. your children. True. But something like this mm -hmm. may create an opening mm -hmm. for your child to ask you a few questions. Um, Mommy, what is, what is ejaculation? Then that becomes a conversation. Yeah. Um, but for all parents, I have news for you. Your child knows much more than you think he does. A friend of mine mm -hmm. is watching television with his, um, with his kids. Mm -hmm. The boy is five. The girl is just about three. And then he could see a sex scene coming on. Mm -hmm. So he changes the, ah! yes, the channel. The, the way they do it, eh? So much style. Oh so, boy, oh boy, my dad is watching it. He's a pro. So the, the, son, the son looks at him and said, Daddy, I know why you changed the channel. Hey. And he said, Kojo, why? Why do you think I changed the channel? He said, Because you are going to have sex. And he said, Do you know what sex is? And he said, Yeah, Dad. Eki and I have been trying to do it, but my thing is too small, so it keeps falling out. At five? Yeah. Five years? Yes. And Eki has a sister. No way. Eki and I have been trying to do it, but my thing is too small, so it keeps falling, it, it keeps falling off. Oh. This, this is... Don't this. underestimate how much your children know. Wait, what Except is... that they know from the wrong sources. Okay, that's what I was going to. So, mm. the more, the earlier you start engaging them so they can get the right apport yeah. from you, yeah. the better. Is Otherwise, it easier to blame the media for what the kids consume? Because I think that's where everybody goes. Like, oh, yeah, blame it on the media, telenovelas. Uh, oh, yeah, social media, all the, what they see. Do you think it's safe to blame it on the media? No, it is misguided. <laughs> it, is, it is misguided. Um, because if your example and your relationship with your children is that close, what will happen is that if they see anything in the media, they will come to you. You'll be the first person they will come yeah. and ask. Daddy, mommy, see. Yeah, see this. What is that? And then, depending on how much confidence you've inspired yeah. in them, yeah. they will take your word over anybody's. Mm. 
it's sex overrated. Especially bad, age. bad sex, terrible sex. Yes. Good sex. We haven't even started talking about it. Can we? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. And I'm sure so, you've. So let me define. Okay. Let me define um, what I mean. My definition of sex. My definition of good sex is you building the act mm -hmm. on the back of a deep emotional connection, respect, thoughtfulness, and care mm. about for your partner. The sex is just an expression of that feeling, of that relationship you have. So I say that a man must learn to make love to a woman's heart and mind before he makes love to her body. Mm. Otherwise, what you're having is not sex. If all you do is make love to a woman's body, you haven't had sex. Whoa. All you've done is you've done penetration. Mm -hmm. and, you're, and you can be selfish about that. Yes, For most always. men. Always, mm. yes. It's like and, me, me, and it doesn't I'm matter what the thrusting I... was. It doesn't matter how many rounds you went. You just made love to her body. You didn't make love to her as a human being. Why is sex everywhere? Is it everywhere? Well, maybe bad sex. But why um, is it everywhere? Yes. It's why are human beings? Why do? are human beings everywhere? Because mm. one of the things we we haven't we don't pay attention to is that we are we are spiritual beings, but we are also inherent in being spiritual mm -hmm. is that we are sexual beings. Mm. So as long as you find human beings anywhere, you would find prayer, but you also find sex. Mm. Sometimes in the same place. Okay. <laughs> at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's sometimes what gets <laughs> scary. So this book is officially out. I don't want us to give too much. Uh, guys, you would have to go check this out. Um, let's talk about sex becoming one. And uh, this is it. From Ankele Book White. This is your fifth? This book? is my... Your fifth book? Um, this is um, in the latter dispensation of my life. Okay. Because I had other books. I had um, two, two books that have circulated in um, East Africa. Uh, translated into um, oh, Kiswa Kiswahili. Swahili. Okay. Um, but not quite available in Ghana. Is that deliberate? Is there circumstances under which I, I wrote them at um, a workshop in Kenya. Okay. And the, the terms of that mm. engagement was that the book will be published simultaneously in five countries. Wow. And um, three of those countries were Kiswahili. What do you tell people who think you are putting sex over money in a relationship? All right. Give your woman money, all the money in the world. Mm. Let me show her cares. Let me care. Let me make love to her heart and her mind. Mm. She will take your money and bring it to me. Interesting. Women, hello. Are you in the comment session? Women, are you in the comment session? Talk to me. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Let me yeah. show her that I care. Let me show her that, let me give her attention. Let me let her know I cherish her. Mm -hmm. And she will take your money and bring it to me. That makes sex for men, okay? Because we, we, that's all we really want, you know? Sometimes sex, peace of mind, eh? The money. The money? Uh, yeah, money is a peace of mind, don't you think? Money is not enough. Mm. You know that uh, Bill Gates is getting divorced? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now talk about money. You know, try, boom, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did you forget this subject? Uh, yeah, he's not married yet. Uh, so you also say this book is for those who are preparing to get married. Yes, it is. Yeah, so it say is. no to bad sex, eh? um, And read wide. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and when Let's talk about love. Yes. Okay, I've got a few questions here for you. Uh, Uncle Lebo White, when we said you were coming, folks were like, oh, Jovali, that's my daddy on your show. So please ask him all these questions for me. Uh, ever been in trouble over any of your... Uh, piece of arts, any work at all, maybe with a higher power? Um, a few times, yes. Um, <laughs> but I remember the, there was this occasion that somebody saved me. Um, I was on the, on the high street 
in the evening. And Giovanni, it was like Sine. A car crossed me. And at the same time, they crossed me and forced me to stop. Before their car stopped, four men were out of the car already, walking towards me, come, moving towards my car. The first one took a look at me and shouted, it will be him, and they turned off and, and went, just like that. How was that experience for you? How long ago was this? Oh, this is a long time ago. I'm not going to be specific, otherwise you know the kind of government, the government that was in power oh, at the okay. time this that, happened. Yeah, that's safe. So <laughs> that's that. Um, and then I've been in trouble with a few men who come and ask me, why does my wife like you so much? Interesting. Yeah, someone actually confronted me at the um, conference center. One of your plays? Um, over generally the, the kind of things I do because there is this myth out there that I am pro woman. Yeah. Um, and so, and I think the wife has made a few noise in the house. And he, this is what Uncle Abu White has yes, been saying. Has been saying. Eh? Yes. Could you, Papa? Oh, sorry, Ako. Oh, sorry, Ako. Yeah. My treat is coming. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. Hmm. What is the craziest thing you've ever done and will do again if the opportunity presents itself? The craziest thing I'll not be able to put on television, they will shut you down. Uh, <laughs> okay. but, I can, but I can give others that, yeah. are not, um, that would not qualify as my craziest. Um, I, used to, I used to travel the southern part of Ghana once a month on business. I needed to touch um, branches um, in all the regional capitals um, south of Sunyani. Okay on a monthly basis. And um, during those times, I told my family that if you hear that I've had an accident, don't come with an ambulance to pick an injured man. You're going to pick a very dead man. Not a dead man, a very dead man. So don't know what you come with, because don't come with ambulances so, and things mm -hmm. like that. That's it not will what, be so bad that's that not going to happen. It will uh, be so bad that they might be putting together pieces. And because like of that, um, the rate I travel. So, mm -hmm. And I love to travel with people. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you give people a lift from here to Kumasi. Mm -hmm. They sit in the car and they are talking. You know, and I love to travel early in the morning. Mm. They are talking. I don't know. Really? I to you it. or? No, 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 among themselves oh, because okay. they are talking and then blah, 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 blah. So, okay. I just step on the accelerator. So you shut them up? No, no, no. I'm not shutting you up. Send me them a driver. <laughs> like a I just step eh? on the accelerator and Giovanni, I guarantee <laughs> you. Ah, Papa, no, you're coin. Or, 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 or the Within a matter of minutes, mm. there is dead silence then you in the car, and everybody's like this. And then. <laughs> you do that everybody to, to shut them up. It's like this. And I remember in one case, um, I know, so, because I was doing, I was doing a crime in Kumasi in less than, um, in about two and I was so, Don't say it. Yes. In about what? Two, 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 ah, two ah. hours, 15 minutes. Hey. You know, Accra Kumas. Yeah, Accra yeah, Kumas. Yeah, Accra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By road, not air. By road, by road. <laughs> Driving. With a load in the car. With a load, with a load in the car. <laughs> and I remember one, of, one time when I did that, after about um, 100 kilometers, the guy said, Mercy. Uh, can, I, can I pee, please? Oh, yeah, it comes naturally. So I pulled off. Uh -huh, you will do it. And all four of them in the car mm. trooped into the bush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Giovanni. Um, Unkillable. No, uh, God, God has been good. Yes. Um, yes. I'm, I'm not that kind of man okay. anymore. But uh, I've got a few more you, questions here for you. Me? What's your take on side chicks? My take on side chicks? Yeah. Is this a man asking or a side chick asking? So this is me asking because of what you do. And, uh, this is you asking? Yeah, me, me asking because... Are you asking for a lady? I'm asking for... I want viewers. to know whether there's somebody oh, okay, so, applying to be a side chick. Oh, no, no. So I'm because asking then, for... Then, I'm asking because that, for... That could, be, that could be the reason, you know. Right. It is possible that somebody has seen this handsome man on 
on, on, on the set <laughs> and wants to know, is, he, uh, is, there, is there opportunity? I'm asking for faculty, DJ faculty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking for DJ faculty. <laughs> Someone must take the blow. DJ <laughs> okay, DJ, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you off here. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'll I'm tell you off here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking because uh, for whatever reason, it's become so, well, out there that a lot of marriages are probably struggling because of that. No, 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 no. Um, you wouldn't agree? I wouldn't agree that they are struggling because of that. I think that is there because the marriages already were in trouble. Okay. Quite often we blame the side chicks. Yeah. But a lot of times the side chicks came in only when the, the, uh, the marriage itself was limping. Mm. It is very rare that you find a side chick on the scene when the marriage is strong and doing well. Yeah. You know, quite often the marriage is not doing that well. And you see, one of the issues is that men typically don't complain. Mm. And so sometimes their needs go unmet and disregarded. Yeah. And um, a lot of men will demonstrate their displeasure instead of talk about it. Okay. You know, and that is why it is important that even if your man is not talking, don't assume all is well. All is well. Um, just be careful. <clears throat> that. Interesting. This is so interesting, Giovanni. Loving the conversation with Uncle Bo White. Uh, we appreciate the time you are spending to talk about some of these issues. Please, um, can we ask him about... Uh, okay, I think I'll do that again. The sex over money thing. People really okay. want to know. <laughs> People are enjoying it. Big shout-outs going out to my man, Mr. Chris. Uh, yes, my neighbor. He's watching with the family and enjoying it. And the subject on sex... Mr. Chris, you know that the way he's giving the big ass to you, people <laughs> will think that you are the one who has that question. I'm sorry. He's watching with the wife, a lawyer. She would be able to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a question here for you, a, a very personal one. My daughter is three years old. How do I answer her as a parent, a single mom, when she asks about sex? Three years old. Mommy, what is sex? What is sex? I'll tell her that it's a gift of God, and someday I guarantee you that you would enjoy it very much. Can I do it in school? No, my dear. Because that is not a place for it. How about bringing him home when you're at work? Mommy? If you wanted to do it, you won't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Bo, ladies and gentlemen. I've got a few more here. All right. <clears throat> Ooh. What do you tell yourself or do anytime you feel like giving up? That... God day. Mm. God day. You've experienced that a few times? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't forget that three of my, um, my commercial, the, my first three commercial theater plays mm -hmm. failed. The first mm. one, yeah, the three, three. The first one, I borrowed money to finance it, and it took me two years to pay the loan. Whoa. The second one, I was driving Octavia, Skoda Octavia. You sold it? White. I sold it. The car did not come back. <laughs> it's the third one that I broke, barely broke even. Wow. So, and each of them took me two years to recover. Whoa, 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 whoa. Each of them. Because I had attempted to do this since 2000. You only started in 2008. But I had a breakthrough in 2008. Okay. Okay. With unhappy wives, confused wow. husbands. Wow. And you have another one coming up on the 4th of September. Devil's Tell us wife. about it. Devil's wife. Tell us about it. I, I read the synopsis of that. Yes. Is it the one with the lady who, who, who whoever marries her, yes, dies? Um, three, three men have tried and died. And um, a fourth man is trying. Except that this fourth man also has a history. The girl he wanted to marry also died a few, a few oh. weeks before their this, wedding. This is dark. Oh, no, not, you won't come to my play, my play and, and find darkness. Because I learn when I'm laughing. Okay, okay. okay. So um, I think I have the ability to turn any topic into, into to humor. You write your own plays? Yes, I write my own plays. That's why they say written by Uncle Bohoy. 
I like that. And you are inspired by, uh, ever considered doing them into, well, giving us movies out of your plays? I think that will come in its own time. Yeah. Um, are, you, are you, by this, registering for audition? Uh, I've never been in such a situation before. You'll be fantastic. I don't think so. You'll be fantastic. No. How do you close this gap for a character that you don't want no, to? No, you'll be, you'll be fantastic. Um, <laughs> and this is a director talking. Oh, really? Yes. Guys, I'll be fantastic. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Watch me in the movie Let's Talk About Sex. Baby. Um, Bye. If Giovanni is playing in it, the title will be The Man Who Knows Sex. I can't believe it. It, it is okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, we, we are live play is back yes. this 4th of September. 4th and 5th of September, the National Theatre title, Devil's Wife. Wow. And two shows, 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. And then wow. we'll repeat the weekend after that, That's 11th right. and 12th. Okay. So, uh, I want us to go for this commercial break. But when we return, I have uh, slides of personalities. Uh, we want to play this little game where you see the picture of an individual. Yeah. And then you give me the first word that comes to mind. Is that okay? Are they politicians in Ghana? No, they are just known faces. So in, we have are they Ghanaians? Media. Yes, please. Ghana. Purely oh, Ghana. Give me foreigners. Oh. <laughs> uh, Ghanaians, when they hate you, they hate you, oh, boss. Uh, give me foreign pictures. Why? Oh, uh, I can't why, why do you say so? Hey, Ghanians, Someone might take what you say here. Pers two hey, hey, I'm going to to say something. He doesn't like the way. Hey, Papa, no. Oh, no, say <laughs> And it's usually, what, what is he saying? It's usually those who, who like, he's yet to watch it himself, or probably yes. they don't watch it themselves. Uh, they so, are told um, by people. Okay, if, I think I think we are ready for that game now. If are you we? don't give me foreign um, pictures, okay, I am not, you're going to see the pictures on here. Okay. So you, you don't have you don't have to explain your answers okay. if All you're right. not comfortable okay. with that. So we're going to show you the first person. A word to a word that comes to mind when you see them. Oh, that's Uncle Boy. That's Uncle Boy. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, Dr. Baumia. Uh -huh. I think he's a gift to the nation. A gift to the nation, yes, you'd say. I think he's a gift to the nation. All right, next. Um, this is Doreen. Yeah. Doreen is my sister. Uh-huh. Um, um, tested and, uh, and approved. Tested and approved? Yes. Wow. Yes. Still, How long have you known her? Still relevant. Oh, for more than 25 years. Wow. Wow. And for 20, more than 25 years, Doreen has remained relevant. I like that. In Next. the media. All right. Um, Uncle Boma, uh, Uncle Bo this, this guy looks like Uncle Boma. He's, he's bugger. <laughs> <laughs> Next. He's bugger. <laughs> Next. Um, I'm not seeing this picture. This is Andy. Andrew Adote? Yes. The most gifted um, actor I ever worked with. Most what? Gifted actor I ever worked with. Wow. And this is a man who wrote and produced his first play in 1974. So if I say that he's the most gifted actor I have worked with, that is saying a lot. Mm. Mm. I think the final one. Chairman General. <laughs> <laughs> Chairman General. No, Kwame. Kwame is one of the reasons why I have hope in the future of Ghana. Mm. Um, he's he's re redefined himself. Mm. He's, said, he's paid his dues. Mm. Um, Kwame is deep. He's, he cares. I think if you, yes, he cares. Wow. He cares a lot. Oh, all right. All right. So there, there, there we have it. Oh, uh, I thought you would give me somebody I can insult. Uh, no. <laughs> but, but we can do names now, if not pictures. There are a few people I would like to uh, okay. insult if I can. Yeah, that, that's, right, okay, that's okay, okay for us. But thank you so much, Ankelebo, for spending part of your Friday evening with us here. No, it's we, been a delight. We it's been a delight. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan. Oh, thank you, Sam. Humble. I'm a big fan. Mm. I love your dancing. Yeah, it's improved. Don't uh, you agree? Yeah, not too much a fan of your voice. Okay. But your dancing. Oh, I, I, used to, I used to sing with uh, Winneba Youth Choir. Yeah. Yeah, right. And then. Oh. Uh, <laughs> And, um, but take it from me, you'll be a fantastic um, actor. Thank you. Thank you.
and I would like to see you on stage. Wow. On stage. All right. Let's but well done knows. for the good work. You're doing fantastic. Thank you. So let me give you a few moves. Uh, maybe you can pick a few dancing skills from me whilst you're going back home. Uh, you boss, have no Yanko break, right? <laughs> We'll be right back after this break. Thank you so much. No, but before we go, before we go though, uh, maybe your final words to your, your 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 fans out there on the show. No, I am I'm happy to mm. have hang, gotten this chance to hang out with mm. you and to anyone uh, spending the time watching us. Look, Ghana is a blessed country. Let's make it so. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. And big shout outs going out to uh, Live Boy as well. They want me to present this to you. Okay. It's quite heavy. I was hoping to give it to you after the, the break, but this is it. Okay. The new flavor uh, right. from Geisha. You'd love it. I'll, this is purely Ghanaian. Thank you very much. Yeah. Moringa. The, the, especially the Moringa. You should try okay. it. The problem is that you've given it to me on air. It <laughs> means I have to take it home. Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back after the break. Stay on. <laughs> <laughs> 